I really think that comedy allows families to really appreciate each other and to appreciate their stories and how, how um, we share a lot when we actually air our dirty laundry on Saturday mornings in sub-zero temperature. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Two years later, it's all back. <laughs> I cringe every time the UPS man approaches our street. Because he's always got something for us. Yay! <laughs> he rings our crazy doorbell and I want to hide. <laughs> Talking about fixing everything, there is actually a sign in our bathroom that says, My father can fix anything. Yes, and my aunt and I crossed out father, and now it says my mother can fix anything. <laughs> That's just wonderful. My daughter runs around saying my mom will fix it every time she breaks something. And she's like MacGyver when it comes to fixing things. <laughs> It's like my family doesn't know the meaning of the word garbage. After 15 years, he's still trying to convince me that living in a pigsty is normal. And that's why our family's here. He's known for his over-exaggeration in public. What? What do you mean I get over-exaggerated? <laughs> Dad, calm yourself. I am the calmest person in the whole wide world. <laughs> he ran over to me, turned me around, and smacked me across the face. What? If I smack you in the face, you look a lot better, and I'd be reported with rifles. <laughs> the blow was so hard, I thought he smacked me with a brick for no apparent reasons. Since I was only seven years old at the time, I began to start to cry in line. This only caused my dad to overreact even more so. He started to attract an even bigger crowd. Oh, I told you it was never a crowd there. <laughs> my brother and I walked to my cousin's apartment in sadness with our heads hanging low. Now whenever someone gets into trouble, we jokingly say, Don't, Don't make me 72nd Street. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me 72nd Street, Street, you. Not that Jackson has to go to North Carolina. We've talked about a lot of schools that Jackson could go to. Paul, I'm seeing that. I'm not going to that Cornell school. Well, how about Carnegie Mellon? I'm not going there. All right. Well, how about... Nope. Or... Nope. Well, what about... Not that one either. <laughs> You had to pick that school. I know! The one school, the one school in the whole world you had to pick. Dude! <laughs> really, Jackson? Seriously? I can't wait to be a blue devil. Why don't you just stab me in the heart with a knife? Last word. <laughs> really? You brought a knife to a comedy show?